Welcome to Metalecto. Today we are going to discuss work output of the heart. So without wasting time, let's start. First of all, we will revise the different chambers of the heart. So if you see here at the right side, you will see the right atrium and the right ventricle. Okay. On the left side, you will see the left atrium and the left ventricle. Okay. At the right side, you will see there are two paths way through which the blood entered into the heart. So that will be the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Okay. And ultimately, you will see the blood enter into the right atrium, then into the right ventricle and ultimately it will exit through the pulmonary trunk. So this is the pathway through which the blood exit from the pulmonary trunk and it goes to the lungs and from the lungs you will see the blood again after oxygenation the blood again enter into the heart through the pulmonary veins so actually these are basically the four pulmonary veins through which the blood enter and ultimately falls into the right atrium and from the pulmonary vein the blood enter into the left atrium and from the left atrium it will goes to the left ventricle and after that it will goes to the iota and from the iota it will goes to the upper part of the body and to the lower part of the body so this is the general circulation of the heart if we discuss the work output so in this case you will see that the work output of the heart in the work output you will see the two most important things if you see like a stroke work output so work output and second thing is the minute work output so here are basically the two most important things so, if we first of all discuss the work. So, in physics, we see that whenever the body has energy, then it means that that body has ability to do some work. So, this is the case that the work and energy is interconvertible. Work and energy has a strong relation. If body has energy, then it means that it has ability to do work. And through the work, we can store energy into the body. So this is actually the reversible process, energy and the work. Okay. So if we see it through the stroke work output and the minute work output. Okay. If you focus on the words, because lot of people forget different things just because they don't focus on the meaning of the words. So if you focused on the meaning of the words, then you can easily understand the different things. Okay. So if you see, first of all, here is the word that is the stroke. That is something related to the heartbeat. Okay. And in this case, you see the word meaning. Okay. And the remaining word will be the same. That is the work output. And here is again the work output. Okay. In the stroke work output, you will see the convergence of the energy into the work by the heart in just one heartbeat. This is called the stroke work output. Okay. I repeat that the conversion of the energy that is present to the heart into the work in just one heartbeat. Heart beat. That is called the stroke work output. Okay. Next thing, if you see minute work output, this is again the same thing you again see that the conversion of the energy that is present to the heart into the work but there is a difference it is actually the one heartbeat this process happens in just one heartbeat but this process will happen in one minute so this is the 
one minute. As the name indicate here, that the minute and this is the stroke. So if someone wants to correlate between these two things, then you can easily uh, correlate that the minute minute work output is equal to is equal to stroke work output. Okay. So stroke work output multiplied by the hard rate. So this is actually the relation between these two things. Okay. That's quite simple that the stroke work output is just for one bit. And after that, if I multiply it with the heart rate, as you know that the heart rate means beating of the heart in just one minute, that is called the heart rate. So, if we multiply it with the heart rate, then we uh, can find it with the for the minute work output. Because heart rate is just for one minute and minute work output is also for the one minute. So, this is the final relation. Okay. If we move further, then you will see we divide work output into two. So, work output into two different things. It has two portion. First, if you see like the major portion and second is the minor portion. So, here is the major portion of the work output and in th there is an minor portion also okay in the major you will see the contribution will be the approximately 99 percent and in the minor you will see the one person okay in the major work output it in the major you will see the flow of the blood from the low pressure veins to the high pressure arteries so this is the case in which you will see the movement of the blood from the low pressure vein to the high pressure artery. Okay. It means that it happens in two situations. First of all, as we know that the superior and the inferior vena cava are basically the veins in which you will see the deoxygenated blood. Okay. And after that, the blood enter into the pulmonary trunk. So this is the case. In the superior and the inferior vena cava, you will see the low pressure blood relative to the pulmonary trunk. Because in the right ventricle, you will see the contraction. And after contraction, the pressure in the pulmonary trunk will enhance. So, this is the case. One. This is the first thing. Okay. From the superior and inferior vena cava, you will see the blood enter into the pulmonary trunk. And second thing is that from the pulmonary veins, again, you will see the pulmonary veins. The blood enter into the aorta. Again, in the pulmonary veins, you will see the low pressure compared to the pressure in the iota. That is actually the iota. Iota. So, this is the case. And there is a major contribution of the work output in this case. And that is also called the external work output or you can say volume pressure work output. So, this is actually the another also called the external work or you can say pressure volume work because as we know that the work is equal to the pressure multiplied by the volume so this is an uh, other thing and there is a major contribution in the minor you will see the just flow of the blood from the ventricle into the pulmonary trunk or you can say iota. This is actually related to the movement of the blood or you can say velocity of the blood. Whenever there is a body that is actually in moving state, then it means that that body has kinetic energy. So if I write the formula of kinetic energy, kinetic energy is equal to 1 over 2 mv square. 
it means that the kinetic energy is depend on two factor first factor will be the mass and second factor will be the velocity so mass and the velocity mass of the blood and the velocity of the blood if the velocity increase then you will see the kinetic energy will also be increased if we keep the mass constant okay it's mean that if you see here in this case the flow of the blood from the left ventricle into the aorta from the right ventricle into the pulmonary trunk that is actually related to the there is a minor contribution in this case okay that is actually the kinetic energy okay but but in some situation you will see the minor factor will enhance or will increase in different pathogenic conditions or different conditions that condition if i talk about the aortic aortic uh, stenosis or you can say aortic valve stenosis in which the valve of the aorta here is the basically the aorta aortic valve will not open properly in the stenosis there is a stenosis in the aortic valve so in this situation when actually if i uh, say that here are basically the two pipes here is the and these two pipes one pipe has a small diameter compared to the larger pipe then you people tell me that in which pipe you will see the high velocity obviously a smaller diameter pipe will has high pressure compared to the larger diameter pipe so it's mean that the pressure in the first pipe will be high compared to the second pipe so in the aortic stenosis when the uh, aortic valve diameter small due to stenosis then in that situation you will see the pressure or the velocity of the blood increase whenever the velocity increase then as we know that the when ever the velocity increase then it's mean the kinetic energy will also increase and after the increase of the kinetic energy you will see the minor contribution will also increase so we also include minor factor in the total total work output so this is actually the two most important thing minor and the major so this is all about the work output of the heart if you have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much